Originally designed for direct application to high temperature piping, the Stratafab system offers a wide spectrum of features and can be used in the minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit to 900 degrees Fahrenheit temperature range. The thermal shock resistance and the wide range of insulation thicknesses that are available with the Stratafab system eliminate the need for composite systems or double layering insulation. The result is a faster, simpler, less labor intensive system which can reduce the total cost of installed insulation. Install Stratafab pipe covering in the same manner as described in the first section of this video. The insulation for the pipe elbows or fittings could be fabricated with the Stratafab system. The Advantage insulation system is the easiest and fastest method of installing foam glass insulation. This single piece wrap around configuration is suitable for most medium to large pipe sizes. The Advantage system provides precision fabrication as well as lower installation costs for most ambient and above applications. The Advantage insulation system is particularly cost effective for large diameter piping applications. Install the Advantage wrap-around section on top of the pipe and wrap the bottom of this section into place. Inspect for fit and closure of the joints. Wrap a band of reinforced glass tape six inches from the end of the section. Uh, remember to overlap the tape 50%. Wrap a second band of tape six inches from the other end. For larger diameter pipes, metal bands will be required to assure closure of all joints. Repeat these procedures on the following sections. With the Stratafab and Advantage systems, a metal jacket is applied as a finish. For applications in the 36 degrees Fahrenheit to 180 degrees Fahrenheit temperature range, the foam glass insulation is applied to the pipe in the same manner as we demonstrated in the previous segment. Now in this segment, we'll demonstrate how to apply a mastic finish and a jacketing finish appropriate for this pipe temperature range. This is a single layer application and the joints are dry. The use of joint sealant at 36 degrees Fahrenheit or higher is at the discretion of the specifying engineer. In this segment, we'll demonstrate how to apply a mastic finish using pit coat 404 coating. To apply the mastic finish, the surface must be free of dust, moisture, and other contaminants. Do not apply the coating if the temperature is below 40 degrees Fahrenheit or if rain is expected within 24 hours. First, cut the PC Fabric 79 into workable pieces to fit the pipe. The fabric must be two to three inches longer than the outside circumference of the insulation. You'll use these after applying the mastic. Trowel pit coat 404 coating on the insulated pipe. The approximate coverage rate is three gallons per 100 square feet. With the insulation freshly coated with pit coat 404, embed the PC Fabric 79 sections that you cut previously into the coating using the trowel. Be sure to lap the seams of each section of the fabric by a minimum of two to three inches. Work the fabric into the coating until it is covered. The appearance of the coated pipe should be uniform with no wrinkles or pinholes. A faint outline of the fabric will be seen through the coating. Allow the first coat of mastic to dry a minimum of 24 hours or a minimum of 48 hours when relative humidity is higher than 80% before applying the second coat. When the first coat dries, trowel a second coating of pit coat 404 at a rate of two to three gallons per 100 square feet. Continue this application until the entire pipe is coated. For indoor applications subjected to various concentrations of acids, alkalis, and chemical washdowns, such as pipes in the food processing industry, use pit coat 404 coating or polyvinyl chloride jacketing over the insulation. 
After the foam glass insulation has been applied to the pipe and pit coat 404 has been applied to the fittings, apply the preformed PVC jacketing around the pipe. Overlap the pit coat 404 coating on the elbow. Solvent weld the jacketing two inch overlap. and tape all the circumference joints with PVC tape. Apply the second section of PVC jacketing around the pipe, butting it against the first section. Solvent weld the overlap. and tape the circumference joints with PVC tape. For less demanding indoor applications, use the standard factory applied white ASJ, all surface jacketing. Some of its applications are overhead piping in shop areas, accessible tunnels and pipes that are above suspended ceilings. The insulation on the elbows and fittings may be coated with pit coat 404 coating or prefabricated fitting covers. Install the insulation on the pipe with the overlap of the jacketing in the down position. Seal the overlaps of the jacketing and the butt joints of the adjoining sections with ASJ tape. 